proper selection of a bending rubber. First, your durability, you're going to want to have something that's chemically resistant. This particular one is higher in fluorine, 70%, and something with good elasticity because the doctors aren't going to be good to it. You're going to have some pokes, some pulls, some stretches, and some impacts. You want it to be able to withstand the normal, maybe slightly beyond normal, wear and tear that we'll see in a hospital. Now the construction of the bending, bending rubber needs to be considered. The wall thickness, the uniformity of the wall thickness, the material's elasticity, so that it will not offer extra resistance when you're bending the bending section. The cleanliness of it. Sometimes you'll find contaminants in it or you'll find bubbles. And bubbles are a major problem because the scope will pass inspection and the pressure test when you're finished with it. You will get to the hospital and by the time the doctor uses it one time it gets a little scrub and that little bubble pops and then you've got a leaking bending rubber after only being used maybe once or twice or only the first inspection. In conclusion, a, uh, the decisions that are made by quality and finish fit will determine a good repair. Something that will stand up to proper use, maybe even a little abuse, and give you a expected life expectancy for your product and for your customer. Thank you for watching.